Okay, well, good morning, class. I'm just going to show you this morning how to use ePortfolio and Fanch Online. Fanch Online. This is uh, something that you're going to have with you as long as you're at college for the next two, three years, whatever. And it's just yours. It's not attached to any class. It's just attached to Fanch Online. You find it up here at the top of your Fanch Online uh, system here. If you click on it, you'll see it takes you to your dashboard. And the dashboard is just a place that tells you what's going on, uh, what you've done recently, who sent you something, what you've uploaded, anything like that. I don't find much use for the dashboard myself. I find that the first place I always go to is over on the left in my items. You've got a couple of things over here in, in the, uh, the side, on the left side. You've got my items, you've got explore. So if anyone invites you to look at something, you would go to Explore and you can find their name there. You've got sharing groups, so that's something you need to set up if you want to share with a whole lot of people. And you've got uh, Import Export, which you don't use at all because uh, you're not going to export this. But you will be able to export your uh, whole ePortfolio when you leave here into uh, a system that Desire to Learn has got set up. So you'll be able to take it with you. So if you're working and keeping everything in here, uh, it's that's what you'll be using it at that point, but until then you won't. So if you go to my items, you'll see two words here, new and upload. So basically what you can do is upload anything, anything that you uh, want into this system, and pretty large stuff. I've put up videos that are six or, so, six or seven hundred megs into my ePortfolio, and they go up. What you don't want is anything over about uh, about 900 uh, meg and then it, when you get up to a gig then it starts to uh, you know time out so you but you can upload a lot of stuff and there seems to be endless room there because I've got about 10 of those up there 10 videos so uh, you can also bring in you'll see course results so if you've got a class that you do particularly well in and you just look at your uh, grade page in the class and it's just a thing of beauty with all kinds of Know, what a wonderful student you are, how great you are, you got another A plus, you want to bring that in. If you, if you didn't hand anything in, you don't want to touch it, but bring anything over into this area that you, uh, any course results. It's just a snapshot of the course at that time. So if you uh, have got the final test and it was terrible, but everything else was good, bring it over before you get the marks. Um, so you can also put things up in your locker up there and then bring them into ePortfolio if you like to. As far as new goes though, you've got um, several things you can do. There's a recording, an audio recording, it's about four minutes long, it's not terrific, but if you want to record something short, you can, you can record it right in here and post it, uh, you know, it'll stay in here. You can also collect links. If you um, if you like, you can if you're doing some research and you want a lot of links, you just just save them in here, and um, then what you would do is put them in the collection. <coughs> I'm not going to show you too much about how to do that, but uh, I can at some point if you like. So so uh, save links and then collect them together, and that's what would be all your research for one of your other classes. Great way to uh, keep things together. Reflection, and I'll show you that briefly. A reflection is just a text box. So if you click into that, if you send any email, you'll recognize this. It's just a basic word type text box. And um, you, can, you can just write into this. You can do a lot of other things as well, but I'll, I'll show you that later when I'm showing you the presentations. <clears throat> One thing that's different when you're doing a, any kind of text box or reflection is if is that you will tag it. And you, you'll you see my uh, ePortfolio, I've got hundreds of things in there now. Got hundreds of presentations and files of different kinds. And and uh, if I want to find them, the only way to search them is a tag, because there's no file folder system. So what I, the least I do is put uh, the year in, and then maybe the class. Uh, what's the class number, 3015? So, and then just add tag. So, and then I would uh, save that and carry on. So that would be if I just wanted a file and I wanted to reflect on something or write about something. Okay, so uh, 
I'll just go back to my items. And the next thing I'm going to show you is a presentation. So I'll stop for a minute and then we'll have something on the overview of a presentation. And